Hey folks! I've been wanting to get a 3D printer for a while now, but as a newbie to this topic, it's hard to know what makes a good beginner-friendly printer and what features to look for. Today I'll show you which printer I chose, why I chose this model, and what you can expect from this machine, all from a beginner's point of view, so you can see what to expect if you're thinking about getting started too. Today my 3D printer arrived, it is the new Neptune 4 Pro from Eligu. It is a beginner-friendly printer that runs on Clipper, which means it can print much faster than a conventional printer. The packaging is very well padded and everything is included to get started right away. Most of it is already assembled, but some parts like the extruder have to be installed by yourself. This extruder has a direct drive and an all-metal hot end and is able to print up to 300 degrees Celsius. This means that it can print most of the filaments that are out there. The combination of this capable extruder, the automatic bed leveling and the high printing speed of up to 500 millimeters per second, are quite promising. Fresh out of the box I noticed that one of the belts is not running straight. I was able to adjust it though without any problems by this rear pulley. The portal, which is the upper part of the printer, is attached to the base by four screws. After the portal is in place, the extruder can be attached. For the touch display there is this magnetic holder, and the display can be plugged into the base on the front. The filament holder is kept simple, but serves its purpose. It is screwed to the top of the portal. A filament sensor is also included, which is then screwed onto the side of that filament holder. For additional cooling at high printing speeds, this large external fan is mounted behind the extruder. After that, all the connectors are plugged in. And you really can't go wrong as they are all of different sizes. Now let's start the machine. Up to this point, it took me about 15 minutes to set up the printer. I only now realize that I forgot to connect the fan. So much for the fact that you can't do anything wrong with the connectors. The touchscreen is very responsive and the menu is kept clear and simple. The first thing to do is to level the printer. To do this, you first set the Z offset with a piece of paper. Then the automatic leveling can be started, where the printer scans the printing plate using a sensor. The printer comes with a bit of white PLA that is enough for a test print. So I will use it right away. The heating of the nozzle happens quite quickly, and I can load the filament into the extruder using the button on the display. On the also included USB stick are already a few 3D models that are ready to print. The first print with this PLA Plus filament went very well. Because it was printed at a printing speed of 250 millimeters per second, it was finished after only about 35 minutes. The filament ran out during the second print. The filament sensor detected this and I was able to replace the filament during printing. I decided to use wider PLA from Form Futura. This test print also went without problems. When I then wanted to print the first larger part, the nozzle constantly hit the cross lines of the infill, which was clearly audible and also visible on the not-so-nice infill pattern. Since I am a beginner, I have no idea how to solve this problem yet. Maybe it's just because this filament is not suitable for high printing speeds. And although the filling didn't look great, the finished print actually looks fine, at least to my eye. This print is a holder for my Xbox controller. And so that it matches in color, I also printed the front of my controller with the same filament. For being my first two prints, I am very happy with the results. Being an absolute beginner, I would say that the ease of assembly, setup and operation of this printer is quite beginner friendly. I would therefore recommend the Eligu Neptune 4 Pro, even for someone like me who has never used a 3D printer before. With a price of $299, the printer offers a lot. 
the all-metal hot end, the direct drive extruder, high printing speed, automatic bed leveling, filament runout sensor, and the clipper operating system that is easy to use even without prior knowledge, due to the implementation of Eligu were the reasons for me to buy this printer. So far, the printer has impressed me, although I've already run into small problems with the infill pattern that I'll now have to look into. If you like the video please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this you are welcome to subscribe. I also appreciate questions and comments and will gladly answer them. Take care and see you next time.